Hello, YouTube. This is Harley checking in. This is, it's, uh, what time is it? 9.46. This is Lainey this morning. Taking her down to the garage. See you guys in a little bit. So here we are pulling the landing apart so we can get ready to do some paint work. And uh, I found a very interesting way to hold your speaker into the door. I don't see a, another wire in there. It's just kind of hanging there by one uh, twist tie. Interesting. I am glad to see that the plastic's still on the door, but yeah, I'm not real sure what's going on there. Hey, what's going on everybody? Got the old Mongo man out here in the garage. We are uh, working on Laney, as you see. We got the new project in here. It's a 1996 F350, 250, 350. Oh, it is a 250? How did it get a Dana solid axle as a 250? Heavily, heavily molested. Heavily modified 250. 7.3, five speed, uh, pretty nice truck. It's in really good shape, but we're gonna make it in even better shape. Fix the rust that's on it and uh, give it a full over paint job. It's gonna stay white and teal. And uh, George is gonna be a happy man. He's Currently not a happy man as he's trying to get all the goo off the side of it. But as you can see here, we made lots of progress today. All of the doodads off of the side. The doors have been stripped. Entirely. I'd rather do it that way than try and mask that off and get paint all over the rubbers. Uh, George has got the whole front end ripped off, front bumper is off. Looking good up here. All right, what do you think so far, George? It's getting there. It's gonna be a lot of work. It's gonna be a lot of work. But it'll be nice when we're done. Well. All right, everybody, that's it for tonight. I'm going to uh, go get cleaned up. Cheryl and I are headed to town, and uh, we'll hopefully see you all tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna stand right there. Look at my nails. Little bow. Aren't they cute?
I mean, I just practically picked that one up. Yeah, I think we. I thought we were getting that, getting, tipping, up, tipping our toes. Tip, 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 tip. KJ, tip. He doesn't want to cut it. Tip, 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 tip. How else are you going to do it? Huh? Ready? Ready, Dad? It's leaning. No, it's obviously leaning. Oh, that's good shit. How's this holding? Uh oh. This is spring mount. Is it rotten? Rotten right there. Is it? What is it? Come look at this. Is it a hole in the other side? Oh bueno. Uh, this might be a problem too. What? This bent spring bolt. Well, it shouldn't be bent, first of all. When it's hitting the spring mount there, it's just hit a bend. That's nice. Instead of going through the other way. Well, that's what Dad did. That's probably why. <laughs> Yeah, I did, you did it with him. I yeah, there. you and Dad all did this. I just watched. What are you feeling with? Yeah! I'm going to take the time I'm going to try to ask. <laughs> Amanda, Chuck. Hey, guys. Welcome to Monko's Garage. Tighten my nut. <laughs> That's a big wrench. <laughs> Dirt. I had to get off my rotisserie because I can't keep my balance while they're doing all of this. What's just going on? Okay, that's all. You got the white hat on. <laughs> Hello, Diesel Creek. My name's Harley. And the Mongo Man. Up in here. Ooh. Something's happened to my camera. Oh, you put the Diesel? Both? Both. Both us? Both? He gonna, he gonna both us? Both. Nice hard hat, Thanks. Supervision. Oh. 
This is how it's supposed to sit. Right? Okay. What's that? No, this is just a heat shield. Do you need that? No, just a heat shield. Useless. Monday evening, I think uh, about 9 o'clock, KJ. It is 9.30. We're done for the evening. Uh, it's nice and warm in here. Got the fire burning good. But uh, we've been working on Laney, as you can see here in the video so far. This is where we're at tonight. Got the bed off of it and uh, got it mounted to the rotisserie. I'll show you the areas of concern. So as you can see, we got it mounted to the rotisserie and turned sideways where we can see everything that's going on underneath of it. And in typical fashion of these OBS beds, this rear cross member ends up rotting out the side of the bed because it gets some dirt, or gets some dirt and stuff stuck up in there, and it ends up uh, creating a corrosion issue. <coughs> we also found a hole here on the cross member. I should be able to fix that up pretty easily. Down here is in good condition. The wheel wells are in bad shape. Uh, they're going to need done. Got a hole there. Same thing here, two holes there, and then of course that wheel well is all rotten. A little bit of rust here. This cross member is going to create uh, a little bit of a, well, it's not going to be too bad, but I'm going to have to fix it. And then uh, thankfully everything up in the front of the bed is in really good shape. We're going to have to weld these up. There's four holes on this cross member. Down low. Four back here. So we'll get those welded up. That's where they had uh, fifth wheel uh, rails in the bed. Come around here and take a look at this side. You can see the holes in the wheel wells. Those holes weren't there until I started beating on it with a hammer. But we're also going to weld these up. That way they're not in the floor. Georgia's eventual plan is to put a uh, B&W turnover ball, which would end up like right here somewhere. But that's not in the plans for right now. Uh, just a little public service announcement. If you work on these beds and you do not have a rotisserie, I suggest you find one. 
it makes this job so much easier. As you can see, it's got a hold of it there and it's not going anywhere. And you can flip it over, turn it upside down, turn it around. It makes that job so much easier. All right, so that's it for this evening. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, so here's the first patch. We're gonna fix the dog leg in here first, which goes in here. Actually, I got it right here in my hand. This is the old piece. Cut out of there. It leaves right like that. I'm gonna make a new one of those. There's the old piece that was cut out. We'll come up here and cut this straight across the top, straight down the middle there, and figure out where I want it back here. And uh, we'll have that one fit. Moving right along. Hey guys. Sitting on the bench. Today is Tuesday. What is up YouTube? We're in Kenny's garage today. Say hi. Or don't. That's okay too. because it's rusty. Guess who just operated the full lid? Me. All right, stop. Yes, Diesel.
Hey, it's Tuesday evening now. I think it's about 9.30. Uh, time to go to the house. As you can tell, I definitely have some type of uh, respiratory illness kicking, and it is kicking my butt, let me tell you. But it doesn't stop progress because we're still out here busting them. KJ and George got a lot done over there in his garage. Uh, the truck is in his place right now, and I've got the bed in mine on the rotisserie. As you can see there from uh, the video that Harley captured, they got quite a bit done on that truck, and uh, well, I got quite a bit done on this truck as well. So there's the uh, second patch I've put on, and as you can see, it's just tacked in place right now. I've got it fully welded in, and I showed you guys earlier. Oh, no. oh yeah, you can decently see it there. The uh, inside patch that I had to make for that. So we're looking pretty good. Really happy with how that came out. Just got to finish welding it in there, get it all ground off, and we can move on to the uh, wheel arch. All right, so we will see you tomorrow. Hey, what's going on, everybody? You got the old Mongo Man out here in Kenny's garage this evening. I want to talk real quick about what you should never do when you put a solid axle in the front of one of these OBSs. It's a real easy job to do. The Dana 50 is sitting on a set of leaf springs. You get rid of it and you put the Dana 60 under there. But the one thing that you have to put in there, uh, unequivocally have to put in it, is the pan hard rod or the uh, sideways stabilizer. Yeah, Laney doesn't have that. Uh, whoever did this job apparently didn't know any better and didn't put it in. So if you're doing the job or if you're thinking that you can do the job, make sure you put a pan hard rod on the front axle. <laughs> and it would connect from there and go up to a bracket. See those holes right there? Those holes, that's where it would go to. Here we go from here up to there. Whoever installed this axle either didn't know any better or didn't care. So right now there is no left to right support for the front axle in Laney. Of course, we won't let, leave it that way. We will absolutely take care of it. But as you can see, somebody didn't really care. Hey, it's Thursday, about 9.30, just getting ready to go to the house. Yeah, I loaded an engine earlier today for uh, one of his customers that came up, 351 Windsor, that's gone. And then I came over here and got started uh, welding some more on the bed. I got the rear patch all the way in and I started cutting metal out from over the wheel well on this uh, driver's side, the left-hand side of the bed. And what I found was kind of what we figured, the inner wheel well was uh, completely covered in rust, so George is gonna go ahead and get those ordered, left and right-hand side. I'm uh, probably gonna go ahead tomorrow and start peeling this one apart and fitting the outer panel, getting ready to go, and hopefully uh, those new panels will be in pretty quickly. But this is what it looks like. So here's the rear panel that we've got replaced. All the welding is done. The only thing that needs to be done now is the edges of the paint need to be feathered out so that we can go ahead and stick some mud on there and uh, hide the welds, but I'm very happy with how that one turned out. Looks really good. I did get it a little hot when I welded it. It's got a little dip in it right here, but it uh, that's par for the course, I think. Uh, other than that, everything else turned out really nice. And then this is what I was talking about with the rust on that inner wheel well. I kind of knew that's what we were going to find, but uh, what's going on here is on this piece, you can see here, this would have been connected there, of course, and you can see it continues down further. So I'm afraid of what's living under here is going to come right back, and I don't want it to come right back. I want this truck to look nice for a long time. So we're going to go ahead and take those down to the marks that I have there. That's where that inner wheel well ends, and then we're going to replace the inner wheel well, and of course, fix those couple holes right there as well. And then that'll ensure that uh, hopefully that sticks around a while longer. I wanted to show you how the inside of this turned out. The new panel, I had to pie cut this area right here and open it up. That way it matched the new panel. I went ahead and welded that all the way across and got it all in there nice and neat. Really good looking. See what we got going on there. Still got to get in here with a wire wheel and clean this up, get ready for paint, but you can see there how, uh, how it looks. This is how it looked before we fixed it. This is, of course, the right-hand side with all the holes in it. 
this is how it looked or looks after we fix it. Rust. So what happens is if you don't get that rust out of there, it just blossoms and it continues to grow. You got to think of rust as a, as a living thing and it's just going to continue to grow. It's very much like cancer. Hey, guess what? It's Friday night. We're out here in the garage. It's about 10 to 11. Uh, just wrapping up for the night. Got quite a bit done here again tonight. Let's see what we did. So there's the inner fender and uh, part of the bed floor. That's the white on the back side. We did figure out that this is latex paint, so we're going to have to do something with that. If you can see the holes there and all of the corrosion or the rust blossom, we got rid of it all. Is what it looked like from that side and as you can see it doesn't look too bad if you look at it from this side you can see it wasn't long for the world it was going to have a whole lot more holes in it very soon so i am very happy that we're getting rid of it this is what the repair looks like in the inner fender uh there was some rust blossom over here i got it all ground out of there everything's looking real nice in here so that new inner fender will lay in right along this area here. That's what these were all spot welds. More spot welds over here. And up here, I'll actually drill holes in the inner fender so that I can weld it to the uh, new patch that's in there. This is what that looks like from the inside of the bed. So far, so good. I do have to come up here and put a little more weld in here. Just got a little, uh, a little deep there, but We'll get that cleaned up. Like I said, I think this is uh, I think this is some type of latex paint. It's really thick, and uh, I don't think anything that I spray on it is going to stick to it. So I'm going to have to do something with that. I've got the holes on this side of the bed uh, beat down in and cleaned up, ready to weld. I don't know what they had bolted to the top of the bed, but they had something to it. Well, we got all the holes welded up. And here you can see the patented uh, Mongo wheel arch, I guess. I don't know. That's what I ended up with. Uh, that got all the rust out of it, and uh, I think that's where we're going to stay. We'll lay the new patch over that and mark it out and figure out where we're going to be once we get the inside patch and everything welded in and fitted. We'll get the outside going. So, All right, so yeah, that's it for tonight. I'm going to uh, hit the house here and... Uh, Relax for the night. It's raining again, uh, but Lord only knows what that's going to be before the end of the night here and then tomorrow. We're expecting some real cold weather coming up here, uh, but it is it is January, right? So it's got to be cold sooner or later. All right, see you all tomorrow. What's going on, everybody? It's Saturday morning out here in Mongo's Garage, and we're out here busting once again on Laney. As you can see here, we're working on this cross member. I got the old rotten one removed. Everything's cleaned up and ready to weld back in. So now I have to fabricate the new bracket. Here is the old one. Once I uh, got it out and straightened it up so that I could make a copy of it. And as you can see, there's a little bit of it missing. Here's the new one that I'm working on currently. I don't have a brake press or a press brake, whatever you want to call it. So we got to improvise. The uh, two pieces of angle iron are clamped together there. What I'm going to do is with a hammer, I'll beat this over and I'll make a leg just like that one. And when I'm done, I'll have a very similar bracket. I do have the little gut that goes inside of it. That's what stiffens it so that the body bolt, the bed bolt doesn't crush it. And then I got to do a little bit of uh, cutting and configuring once I get this portion of it made. All right, we we'll get back to it. All right, guys, last chance to see what I did here before I weld it all home. I uh, just got done making the bracket and welding some holes closed here in the bed floor. This is what the finished bracket looks like. I'll clean those welds up once I got it on there. I could have welded it from the inside, but it is what it is. These are the holes I just welded up. That's the holes that the uh, hitch was on, so they're now gone. We're going to put this up in here, something like that. 
and we're going to make it stay forever. Well, or at least until corrosion and rust takes it away. Mother Nature, she is mean. All right, everybody, so we got that done. Uh, it ended up pretty nice. The uh, cross member is all ground off. I did all the grinding. I got just a little bit more grinding to do on the welds that I did just now, or before, not just now. I went in and uh, took some ibuprofen for my back because she's a hurting. Uh, but the cross member repair is done, and now I'm working on the very rear cross member. Let me show you what we're doing. <clears throat> so if you guys remember, I was showing you how that cross member had a big hole rotten in the middle of it there. Well, I got the little, there's a piece of steel, or I shouldn't call it steel, a piece of uh, metal over the top of it there. You can see I've got it off, and I'm getting ready to cut that hole out of there now so that I can get in there and put a new piece in, and then we'll put that uh, doubler over top of it. This is what that cross member ended up looking like. See the hole right through there. Looks good. Put some paint on that. You might not even know I fixed it. This is a little bit of grinding I got to finish up. I said, area I told you about that I had low. Just got to get in there and fix that up. I did find this. This is going to need welded. That shouldn't be loose. That should be tied up against like that. Not loose. This side over here is good. So the spot well just come off of it. We'll fix that before long. I did get in here with the uh, needle scaler and worked on that a little bit. Got some more of that rust and stuff cleared out of there. So now we're gonna cut that hole out <coughs> and fix it. All right, everybody, that's it for the day. I am done and that makes a wrap for this video as well. I hope you guys really enjoyed what we did here on this video. I know it was a long one, but boy, there's a lot of stuff going on here right now. I do appreciate everybody watching. If you've made it to this point, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, get some more watch time for us. We're getting ever so close to becoming monetized, finally, after 700 and some videos in four years of busting butt out here in Mongo's Garage. Uh, what did we get done here this afternoon? Well, let me show you. So you guys have already seen that cross member that we finished up. And then I went ahead and got this one done as well. Took care of the rod holes and made it look like it does now. So we're a couple steps closer to being done here. Just keeping at it a little bit at a time. Definitely making progress. All right, thanks again for watching and we will see you all very soon. Take care.